Okay, so today's van project is to fit this and wire it to that. Now, I've got a bit of a dilemma because I put this on so when we're putting the boat on it doesn't damage the back here or whatever and there's also a good stand to get up into the bed if we have to. So what I'm thinking is the original one is actually welded to the framework. I reckon I can bend that back only enough because it doesn't matter if it comes sideways like this. It doesn't matter. As long as we get a connection, I think that's where I'll have a go at first. We'll see if we can do something bend that. And also after I've bent that or decided what I'm going to do with it, then I've got to find the actual side which contains, I know they've got the light clusters and I've got to take this off and have a look. But one of them is what they call it, the like I'm going to call it the master side. So where all the loom comes in, whether it comes in from the top and down. And then what we'll do, we'll tap into that one because that will then feed each side. So left to right, right to left, whatever it might be. And now I've got the wiring codes and I'll show that and I'll show you how we're going to do it. And splicing, they sent all the kit when you, when you buy it. You get all the kit with it, so yeah. That's the donkey what popped the town, went and bought two nuts and bolts with the washers on. Just push one through, I'm going to put the other one on, and I'm going to put the step above that. Hopefully it fits okay. Okay, just hand tight, both of them. And underneath, it actually sits just on top of the plate, which is absolutely perfect. So there'll be no play or any chance it can move. So I'm just going to tighten this up and I'll show you when I'm finished. Doki, right. Just got to tighten it up. And what I mean is I didn't want this rack to sit on this plate. So it's just above it. It's just, so you can just, you can see that it moves. So it's not sitting on, it's not jamming it. I don't want it to jam. So, right. <clears throat> now I've got to figure out which side is the master wiring which i'll come to back in a bit next job to find so out when you're doing your van build you've got to remember that you've got to allow access so that's why i didn't put a screw in that one there i left that out it doesn't rattle that one's in one at the bottom uh so that's when you do your van build you've got to allow so you can get this panel off because you're not going you're not going to get your light cluster off without getting to the back of this vehicle so hence that's why i've only got uh, a couple of well that's why i've left a screw out at the back there okay so if you look at this wiring loom here this one not this one, i put this one in the little one that's for a usb that's going to be usbs in a bit anyway this big one coming down which is pinned to to here and then there it is that great big and i reckon if i open this up which is easy enough it's, it's not connected look see all those wires in there, I reckon, see them, will correspond with this side. So I reckon what happens is it comes in from the top of the vehicle over here, down, and then from there goes back up over the top and down that side. And that's what it is. So I'm going to look into that main cluster there and have a look at this one. I reckon we can be able to take them to this, to this side, I believe. So tomorrow, I shall be getting underneath, having a look underneath this vehicle and finding a way into this rear sub, whatever it is, um, frame into this rear, rear. Yeah, it should be easy enough. Just drill a hole underneath there, right underneath this. Patch the lead in. It's, you've got a rubber grommet that comes with it and everything. And then I'll show you how and why we okay. We can do two. We can, I can test before I actually, because I'm going to pinch the wires. Yeah, so I'll do that tomorrow morning and I'll show you as I'm going. Okay, that was a good time. You just tried to chuck it down. Right, so what I did was just move anything which was in here with just a, a, a box. Took the foam out. I'll show you underneath where I found a hole. And then this is the main cable coming through for the towing hitch. Right, and I fit it all the way through up. And it's coming up to where all the main cables are. Can't do it right now, it's pouring down. One second. Actually, it's not, it's hailstones. <laughs> okay, so the cable's running here, across to that. This will have a tie, tie back on it. Then I'll put a couple of holes just in the, in the, it's like a bumper, it's just a piece of plastic. All the way along, and I'll tap this through, one there, through here, and get this. <laughs> These hailstones are sharp. Right, and then at the end here, I found a cap with a hole in. 
so I thread the cable through and that then led you probably can't see that up inside the main channel where all the other wires are and that's it I'm going there because I'm getting soaked so well pop that back in that's it make sure that's in properly it's any muck getting in there Okay, uh, that's what we okay, are. The so next far. thing to do is remove the light cluster, light cluster, using this tool that came with the machine. Well, it came with the vehicle. Uh, you just pop out. I'll show you. Pop out the screwdriver bit. Put it through the handle, and there we go. That's your removing tool. Just said job. Pop it over the end, and away you go. There you go. I know that was. There we go, there's one more down the bottom there. Where can you see it? There. Okay. So with the cluster off, guess what? You know better off. <laughs> so I've got to figure this out. So I've actually took the lighting connection off and the colour coding is not the best. If I could knew if I knew what that was. I've even looked in the actual, so you're going to have to get a Haynes manual, but I'm going to have a go at stripping this back, which is my, this is the light cluster, the um, towing hitch. Uh, I know a lot of these are pretty straightforward. I use the red is stop and tail. The green and yellow are left and right indicators. The white is earth. Uh, the blue is, oh God, I've got it all written down. So I'll go through it with you and we're going to test them and see if they work. So anyway, I'm going to connect the earth up first and then go through each one and then we'll find out which one is then we can tap into the cluster. Okie doke, strip your wires back, all right? First thing. Next thing, pin connection. How many is yours? So on this one, we're looking at a seven pin. Seven pin, so that's what we're going for, okay? So on the seven pin one, zoom that in, is that all right? Yeah. So left-hand indicator is yellow. And then you've got rear fog light is blue. Not interested because I haven't got a fog light on this one. It's only for my boat trailer. Uh, so I'll disconnect that. I'll actually snip that off, save any hassle. Earth is white. Right hand indicator is green. Now we've got to find out where this cable, if it does, loops over the other side. If not, I'm going to have to make a bridge. Uh, let's back to the wiring again. And then we've got right to tail light. And number plate is brown. Great, there's only got one of them, so that's going to work. Uh, stop light is red. Oh, left tail light and number plate is black. So I'm saying we can actually put those two together, I would say. Let's see what happens. All right, let's uh, crack on. Thing is, first thing to do is white to either the body or an earth. Well, there's the earth. That strap there, that black ones, all those black ones, they're all earth. So I'm gonna put them okay, so I flipped the earth on, no problem, because we needed that to start with. And now what I've done, I've gone through this cluster and I've got the green wire uh, I've disconnected this, and you're going to get that tick, 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 because there's one bulb missing, but it'll still light up your number plate. And there we go. So that is my right hand indicator, and it goes to look at this on it the blue. Yeah, so it goes to the blue cable. So I'll trace that back and we'll put another one of these connectors on, but they're not. The cable's not that thick. Mine should be alright. No, it should be alright. It worked anyway. Well, I'll give it a go and I'll get back to you in a sec when I try it. So I've got to trace back for the blue. No, I haven't. I've got to trace back for the green. The green, okay? The yellow one on the, this cable will be now the opposite side. Now, I've got a bit of a dilemma. Unless I can find where this goes, I'm going to have to drop another cable across the other side. Uh, possibly two, possibly three cables. I think I'm going to just try one for now for that indicator, that side. And if I can find that one with one cable, it's fine. Cause because I'm using LEDs, I don't think it's going to put any strain on, on the stop and tail lights left and right. It doesn't really matter about them because they're just stop and tail. So they're on or they're bloody off. So, and I think if you put two together, it should, should work. I think we'll give it a go. 
Okay, so, yep, green, got it right, yeah, perfect, all that. Perfect, beautiful, except I did tuck it through here, like I did with the white. And now I've got to undo it and do it again. Okay, so what I've done is found the green, which is the stop and number plate light. Uh, not stop, tail light, tail light, which is the brown and black. Put them together and yeah we've got a connection and they both work now uh, someone's going to say you can't do that well it seems to work and i'm only running leds i'm not running 12 volt bulbs so they miss the wattage is nothing absolutely nothing so if i'm wrong please leave a comment down below honestly i don't mind